I've been making things certainly since I was a, a small schoolboy. If you look around my workshop, you'll see I've got a number of machines. None of them is new. Usually I've bought them as wrecks and I've rebuilt them. So uh, that, that occupies a lot of my time. I've always been really interested in the ancient world and ancient engineering. When I'm making an ancient instrument such as this, I am an ancient workman in my own mind. The hammer I pick up might have been made this century, it might have been made last century, there is. But the use of a hammer and the way I use it is exactly the same as, as the Hellenistic smith. I call this the Sphere of Archimedes. That's really not a formal name, but, uh, for want of anything better. The Sphere represents the, the sky. The figures on it are the constellations. But it isn't just a representation of the, of the fixed stars in the night sky in their constellations. The pointers show the positions in the sky of the moon, the sun and the five known planets and they're all connected together by some fairly simple gearing which is inside the globe. The reason I call it the Sphere of Archimedes is that the earliest and actually the clearest description of such an instrument that we have is uh, Cicero's account of an instrument that he says was taken from Syracuse when Archimedes was killed and this instrument was supposed to have been devised, possibly made, by Archimedes himself. In a sense, what I've made is uh, a demonstration of what was possible, in my view. To see how it works, uh, let me pull it to pieces. Open sesame. I think this instrument's really interesting because it helps flesh out a tradition which hasn't really been fully noticed by earlier generations of scholars. This tradition of uh, little instruments working with gear wheels. There was a busier industry of small mechanical work than most of our perception of ancient literature would lead us to believe. Could we call um, <clears throat> the designer and the maker of, the, of an instrument like a sophisticated not sure I know. Well, of course, we have so little of their mechanical work, um, even if we add together all the reconstructions that have been made. But certainly it, there is ingenuity, certainly there is uh, ability, certainly there is very great cleverness. And many, many people have published papers or magazine articles or whatever about ideas for how ancient machines worked. And often one looks at those articles, those papers, and one thinks, I bet he hasn't tried it because it wouldn't work. I wanted to avoid that pitfall. I, I wanted to avoid uh, having anyone say, he's all talk, he can't do it. Uh, I can do it, so I, and I enjoy doing it, so that seems to me a good way of demonstrating that the thing uh, should be taken seriously.